He says, allow me to share a personal experience, if you will. One afternoon in the chow hall, the, the cafeteria, a brother approached me and asked me to do a haram that I had made toba for. So obviously he has something, you know, that he was known for, for doing haram. He asked him to do that. He said, I made toba for that. And he said, I made toba for it and I declined and explained why. Fortunately, the brother understood. Later on that evening, I was sitting in the cell, in his prison cell, uh, decompressing from the stress of the day. I had grown exceptionally weary of the unit that I had been on. So, because in the prison, sometimes, you know, there's certain parts of the prison that are much more difficult than other parts, and you can ask to be transferred to another place. Some prisons are more difficult than other ones, they'll ask to be transferred. He said, it was really causing a strain on my mental well-being. I briefly recalled the hadith of the companions of the cave. I spoke to Allah in my mind, remembering uh, remembering the would-be transaction. A thought occurred. If you know I did that for your sake, meaning what just happened in the cafeteria, he said, if you know I did that for your sake, put me on the bus out of here. He said, not a moment later, I shook my head while thinking, don't mind me, I'm a fool. He's like saying, oh, you know, Allah, I'm sorry. You know, I, I learned this, you know, don't, don't, don't mind me, I'm a fool. During uh, rack time, the guard came around with his count and he stopped at my cell and informed me that I would be going on a bus. I was, go uh, I was, going, uh, I was going there. I bear witness there is no God but Allah. I thought things like this only happened to people in hadith, but it happened to me.